Uh, good morning, peace be upon you. This is part five of the series of assessment planning and today we are going to talk about is standard setting means selecting the pass score and in this especially end of method of selecting the passing score. We have already done in the previous videos purpose of examination, what we want to assess, when we want to assess, content which is table of specification, methods, items which is examination blueprint and today we are going to talk will be what will be the passing marks. Standard setting is a standard, is a single score on test chosen as a cutoff for pass and fail. Standard is a criteria which differentiates between two things which separates two things clearly. So this is one score or one number which separates two groups of students widely apart. Okay, they pass, they fail, they have achieved the competency, they have not achieved the competency, they are selected, they are not selected. That is why it is called a standard setting. Single score, a standard is a single score on test chosen as the cutoff for pass and fail. There can be different purposes of examination as we did in the previous video. One purpose is to judge competence, meaning by okay, has the adult student achieved the competence, he is skillful, he is competent, he is safe to treat the patient. Other is could be totally different purpose which is to select a specific number of students which selection could be for different purposes. It may be selection to join a course, it may be to select to get a job and so on and so forth. Let me give you an example. To judge competence, we may say if this is the content which is must to know and good to know whatever it is so a student will be competent if he knows at least 50 questions 50 percent of correct answer mcqs are needed to pass now in this what we are doing is if we are checking his competence against the criteria and the criteria which we think is that 50% of the content if he knows he is going to become a safe doctor in terms of health professional education if we talk about this is an absolute standard this is an absolute standard When you talk to select a specific number of students, which is another purpose, an example could be that the top 25 in a test will get admission in a college. Irrespective of the number of students, irrespective of what their scores are. This is relative standard and it's norm reference because obviously in this you are making a judgment, keeping in view all the candidates which are appeared in the exam. Now coming to the end of method, there are many methods by which you can in fact tell what is the score which should be the passing score or what is the score if it doesn't get that the student should fail. Usually passing scores they are decided by the colleges and universities beforehand and the examiners do not have to do that. But they, have, they do not choose this score arbitrarily. There are certain methods. Just to introduce to you, I am going to tell you about Angoff method. There are multiple methods, the Abel method and there are so many methods. In Angoff method, the standard setters first decide the characteristics of a borderline group of students. So first thing they do is they just sit down and they are the experts, they know the students 
and they say ki what are the characteristics of a borderline student not the top not the lower one so what are its characteristics then they see each item in each questions e standard chapter tells in his opinion what proportion of the hypo this hypothetical group of borderline students will respond correctly to this question first average of each question is determined the sum of average of each question is taken as a cut score it's not difficult let me give you an example let us say there are four expert standard setters the names should be standard setters not examiner because they are not examined but average examiner could commonly be called an examiner and just to give you example let us say there are 100 or whatever they are we take question number 1 and i ask have you decided the characters to discuss among you okay tell me read this question examiner asks now tell me how much percentage of borderline students will respond it correctly so One says fifty percent, another sixty, another fifty-five, and the fourth sixty-six. I make the average, which is fifty-seven point five. Then second question, they think over it and then say, example, one says sixty percent, another says sixty percent, third they say fifty-five percent, then sixty percent average is fifty-eight point seven, and so on. The third, the fourth, the fifth. The six, the seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and continue till the questions of MCQ or the questions are in the paper. Now, what then? What you are going to do is make an average of this. Average is fifty-nine point four eight. So, rounding it off, it's sixty. So, sixty percent is the cutoff. So, if the total marks are hundred, then any student who who gets sixty number is going to pass. Any student who gets fifty nine or less will fail. If the paper is a one twenty one twenty one fifty marks, then convert them into percentage, and those who get sixty percent will pass. This is the aim of method. There is another way one can also do the same method, but then then that won't be called as aim of. what you do is you cluster the questions according to method and what the examiners do is they read after defining the characteristics of borderline the students they read the cluster of questions and the question then comes in to kind of one okay in this cluster a how many students borderline students are going to give correct answer and then that is written then second cluster then third cluster then fourth cluster but these clusters are made according to a principle and then they average it like this this is every method i hope i hope this helps you this was an introduction to angle of method and statistics so have a good day